You don't fucking know me. <laughs> Bitch, you don't know how I am at social events. I'm talking to people and I've heard I'm courteous and polite. I'm Mac Miller, this is the People vs. Me. I'm about to check out some YouTube comments. No peeking. You know, last time I did this, I went into a deep depression and started using drugs. So, let's see how this goes. Kyle Mondeser. Mac is one of the most creative rappers in the game. <sighs> Rather than talking about sex, drugs, and violence, Mac actually talks about life. Seriously, how many others besides Macklemore can say that? Not many. Not many. Shout out Macklemore, bro. It's just me and Macklemore out here. <laughs> That's my favorite shit. You know who are my favorite rappers in the game? Mac Miller, Machine Gun Kelly, Macklemore, Action Bronson, Asher Roth, Eminem. I just think that they're the best. I just think that. I mean, is it a race? No! It's not even a racing. I'm just saying that they're the best. Yo, this is great. If you're talented, you don't need the ganja. Straight up. <laughs> Straight up. You don't need the ganja. I love when people call weed the ganja. Yo, man, you want some of the ganja? <laughs> um, yeah, I agree with you, dude. <laughs> Span buggy one, two, three, four, five. Old Mac was a rapper. New Mac is an artist. I don't think you should, like, worry about that. I mean, thanks. I'm, I think that was in a positive way. Like, that's kind of what I've been gathering from this album is everyone's like, oh, Mac is an artist, artiste. I was always an artist. Back then, I was just artistically making them hits, baby. <laughs> you know, money, LMAG63. What happened to Mac? Donald Trump, Miss Calls, Best Day Ever, We Want the Old Mac, Space, exclamation point. I don't know what happened to me, man. Um, I went through some shit. You know, I just haven't been able to make as good of music anymore. I'm falling off. Um, don't have as many fans. Not making as much money. But yeah, I don't know what happened to me, dude. Um, Crystal mess. Jesse K, there is no older new Mac. I hate those comments. Mac is a multi-talented artist. It would be a waste if he just made party hip hop tracks. Like, no offense, Jesse. Like, I, I, I feel you. Um, I never just made party hip hop tracks. There's a bunch of other shit that was in there too. Um, however, like, I don't understand this, like, every single video, there's this. Like, there's always the, like, we want old Mac, and then there's a the dude that's like, no, there is no older new Mac, he's just like, you know, he's, he's this, and they're all trying to fucking analyze who I am, like, shut up and just, like, enjoy or don't enjoy, like, that's it. That's comment about the video, not the art, you know what I'm saying, not who I am. Comment about the video that you're watching. Gurkis35. The song itself in a music video is something Drake would do. Thank you. That's all I can say, thank you. It's the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. I do love Drake. Yes, a religious one. Alexander Osborne, believe that Jesus Christ is your savior for all your sins. If you truly believe in Jesus Christ to be your savior for all your sins, then you will go to heaven. I feel you. <laughs> 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 a lot of the album touches on religion, but you know, I don't believe that Jesus Christ is the only key to heaven, you know. I'm not saying that he's not, I'm just saying who the fuck knows, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of like a lot of what the album deals with, is that there's this whole like thing, it's like, it's like, oh, if you believe in Jesus, you're going to heaven, if you don't, sorry. Like, okay, well, I was, you know, raised a Jew, so my whole life I'm told to believe that Jesus Christ is not the second coming of God. And just because that's how I was raised, I'm not getting into heaven with the rest of you guys. Like, sorry that I, you know, my mom told me differently. 
I love when people go to fucking YouTube with the fucking deep religious or political stance. Like they're making a change in the world. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is how you make a change. No, don't protest. Don't go outside and stand up and start a revolution. Go and comment on YouTube. That's how you can make a real change in the world. Hey, I want to convert a bunch of people into Christianity. How am I starting? Commenting on Mac Miller's video. Step one. Okay. Stan Mania. Just simply, straight to the point, the Adam Sandler of hip hop. I don't know how to take that. I wonder how much thought goes into the, the comment. If it's just like not thinking, they just type it, or is it like he's watching? And he's like, I got it. The Adam Sandler of hip hop. <laughs> I don't know a single person who's ever commented on a video. Not one person. I don't know if they're real. You want to talk about Illuminati? Y'all are the fucking Illuminati. We aren't. Because we've never met you guys. We don't know who comments. Who are the commenters? That's what I'm saying. I want to meet them. But you know what we should do? We should try and find... Oh my god. I'm calling dibs on this if you do this because it's my idea. We find the YouTube people and bring them in a real room and have them watch videos, talk instead of type, and then bring the rapper in and see how much they fucking change when the dude's right in front of their face. Because that's what the real shit is. To everyone, when they're behind the fucking keyboard, is a fucking professional critic. And it's like, oh, old Mac was... And then I fucking meet him, and they're like, oh my god, dude, it's fucking so great to meet you. Fuck you, you fake piece of shit. Okay. Thank you for your comments. I hope I didn't offend anyone that meant to say something positive. I appreciate love and hate alike and misunderstanding and misconception. And you know, confusion. And you know, sometimes the world isn't as simple as you think, but sometimes it is. Sometimes you need to open the book and close it and look at the last page before you read the first page. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you need to watch and look at the table of contents before you start reading. Sometimes you need to look up the words you don't understand. Maybe use context clues. I don't know. But I appreciate everybody. Um, you are truly the Adam Sandler of hip hop, Mac Miller. Fuck you.